Hello everyone, this is Alex from Techliner and today I will review a speaker that might replace my favorite LG PL7 It's GBL Charge 5 Inside of the box, like any speaker you will find a USB-C cable, some manuals, and the speaker itself. And by the way, it's really lightweight. Starting with the design, the Charge 5 got some upgrades from the previous Charge 4. Nothing major, the logo in the front is now bigger and looks nicer. The speaker has the same weight of 2.1 pounds. It looks like the small brother of the GBL Extreme 3. It's made from a premium fabric with rubber ends on both sides and on the bottom there is a rubber line to enhance the stability especially when you play a bass heavy music there is no RGB light or any other lights on the charge 5 except of one line underneath the logo that gets dimmer when the speaker is going out of battery overall the Charge 5 is built like a tank in addition it has an upgraded Bluetooth 5.1 compared to the Charge 4 with Bluetooth 4.2 so you can connect the Charge 5 up to two devices however I did notice a huge latency watching videos when it's connected to two devices while there is no latency at all when it's connected to a single device and also you can pair more than one speaker together to create a stereo setup but it's limited to the latest generation speakers from GBL, which are Extreme 3, Flip 5, Pulse 4, Boombox 2, and Charge 5. Moving to the back, you will find a USB-C port for charging the speaker, and a USB-A port to use the Charge 5 as a power bank, since it comes with a 7500 milliamp battery. And speaking of battery, GBL claims that the Charge 5 will last you for 20 hours on 50% volume but according to my test it lasts me around 10 hours on 80% volume and 15 hours on 50% on a side note there is no 3.5 mm jack on this device or a microphone to receive calls on the other hand it's rated IP67 water and dust resistance like any other GBL speaker decade ago so feel free to throw the speaker in the ocean or in the middle of the desert now let's move to the most important part the sound quality this is a 40 watt speaker with a single tweeter on the left single woofer on the right and dual passive radiators on the sides I will leave you now with the sound test and I'll be also using my favorite speaker the LG PL7 for comparison please consider wearing a good pair of headphones for more accurate results I tried for you, you won't play alone. I've 
got you in my sight I keep all the words you said to me I get you, get you, get you, get you on your knees Rewrite all the things you said that I should be I'll get you, get you, get you now you beg me please Hey Now I stay away You were never meant to say <laughs> GBL has a really bright sound, thanks to the ad tweeter that was missing from the previous Charge 4. What lead us to a great separation between the mids and the highs, especially the highs, and it definitely has a better vocal than the Charge 4. However, I did find the vocals too sharp for my taste, especially if you want this speaker for indoor usage. Also, as you heard, the Charge 5 is a bit louder than the LG PL7. Overall, I think it slightly outperformed the LG. One thing to consider though, is that you can't modify the equalizer settings on the GBL, while you can do that in most of the other speakers in this category. Now, do I recommend the Charge 5? Overall, it's a nice speaker, built to last, and has an amazing sound quality but I don't see anything stands out to make me substitute my current favorite speaker, the LG PL7. Considering that the retail price of the Charge 5 is $180 compared to $100 for the LG PL7. However, if you're looking for the best between these two and the price is not a deal breaker for you, go with the Charge 5 and try to avoid both Charge 3 and 4 because this speaker is much better option than both anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up consider subscribing and let me know in the comment section is it worth to upgrade from the LG PL7 to the GBL Charge 5 and if you want to see a review about the Sony XB43 I will leave a link to the video somewhere in the corners and thank you for watching